friends uh, on 48 Stories. Today we have uh, an amazing award winner director, Mikhail uh, Romanovsky, uh, with his movie Timeline is official selection uh, and one of the nominees for best uh, film of the 48 Dependent Short Film Festival. Mikhail, welcome. Thank you. Hi, Francesca. I'm in love with your movie. Your movie is so sensitive, uh, full of feelings. Uh, when I first watched it, I was speechless uh, from the directing, from the photography, and especially from the performance of your actress. Thank you. So, tell me the story behind how you start the whole thing. Uh, that's a long story, actually. <laughs> Um, I made this, um, I shot this script twice. Oh, do and, I? Yeah, and the first, uh, the first time it was for uh, Manhattan Film Institute, when I've been student. And uh, when, you came, when you come there, it should be a short script with uh, like three-page script, two actors, one location. So it was the main goal. To make uh, the script and ask my writer to make something like this and he made the great script and we made it there and when we finished I decided to reshot it in Russia because you know after shooting movie you always wanted to fix something to make it better so... that's happened to the best of us trust me <laughs> yeah and I reshot it in Russia and in Russia, I decided to find these uh, great actors. Uh, their names is Yelena Yakovleva and Ilya Selakov. And she's this very famous actress, in Russia. This actress is an amazing actress. Yeah, yeah, she's very famous in Russia. She's very good. And probably you've seen movie with her. It's um, Intergirl. It's all Russian movie. She's been there. I haven't, to be frank, uh, but uh, you know, now that you are telling me, I'm going to watch every Russian movie that she's on. She's a great actress. Uh, good for you. Okay, let me ask you a few things. Uh, how long have you been involved with the directing? Oh, um, I finished my graduate in, film in Russian filmmaking school in um, six years ago. Yeah, six years ago. And what makes you decide to come to the United States? Um, <laughs> uh, this is a tough question because I wanted to, you know, try. Because here is uh, more opportunities for director and filmmakers. So, and I just wanted to try. Especially my sister lives here last 20 years. So, oh, so. You, you are familiar, so it wasn't the first time that you've been in the United States. Just all, it wasn't the first time that you've been in the United States to follow your dreams. I'm assuming yeah. you came before, right? Yeah, I came here first time in uh, 2007. Just, you know, to see what does it mean, America? <laughs> so what it means America for you? For me, it's... Um, for me, it's like Every day Be surprise. careful what you're going to say because Putin is watching us. <laughs> I'm not afraid of it. Uh, America is a big surprise. It is like, you know, this idiom about the box of candies. So yeah. it's like this because so, you never so know. Funny. You never know what you will what will happen tomorrow. You never know and where you're going to discover and who's going to discover you either. Did you ever came to Los Angeles? Yeah, I've been there twice. There is brilliant weather. I love it. Because I've you are ba you based in New York, right? Yeah, now I live in New York, and I think sometimes to come and to move in LA, but <laughs> you know, all in time, all in time. You're very welcome to come. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, because you are very, very talented. We love your work. Thank you. And, uh, for the people who are watching us, uh, his movie. It's uh, one of the official selection, uh, the name is Silence, and uh, it's official selection for the 48 Dependent Short Film Festival, and whoever wants to watch this amazing movie, won't say much about that, uh, they can come at the Directors Guild of America, 
in uh, March 15th uh, to watch all the winning films and we're curious to see who's going to be the great winner that night. So let me ask you this. Um, so the second time that you shoot your film, how many days shooting you did? Uh, 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 for timeline? Yes, from uh, timeline. For timeline, it was just one long day, <laughs> like 18 hours. Yeah, 18 hours. Should amazing, it. amazing. The result was amazing. The crew was very tight. The whole story. Thank you. Was picking in our heart, and I'm pretty sure whoever going to watch this film at that day, they will realize exactly what I'm saying. Thank so, you. Um, let me ask you this, are you thinking of going back in Russia to pursue your career or are you going to be observed here? Uh, I'm, I came here to try, so I got my O1 visa, <laughs> like work permit. I, so you are a celebrity now. <laughs> uh, now I'm trying to f uh, find a good script to make, some, to make uh, another movie. and. I'm looking for a different projects, so I want to try to do something here, and then I will see, because I like to be here, and this is... Uh, this your mo your, I'm sorry to interrupt, your movie is extremely sentimental, so am I assuming that you like drama mostly, or you like thriller, or you like comedy, or whatever? Um, I'm open. But I prefer, for example, for the next script, I'm waiting, I'm looking for something like a psychology thriller or dramedy. Oh, I have one for you. I will send you a script. <laughs> oh, nice. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fantastic. Are you joining us on uh, the Directors Guild of America March 15th? Of course. This is a great honor. Fantastic. So, you see, how you felt when you find out that you're a little short is going to be screened in the Directors Guild of America, the theater of the greatest director of all times. Uh, it was a little bit scary and I felt very big honor for it just because I never, I've seen uh, Directors Guild of America just outside and I didn't realize that in uh, several months I'll be there for screening you know, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> okay, uh, Mikhail, we are looking very forward to see you and meet you in person as well. And one last question that some of our associates, uh, you know, named me to ask you. Does Russia help Donald Trump to get the presidency? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Did Russia help Donald Trump for the presidency? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't help. <laughs> it wasn't me. Okay. Stay on art, say with your art, your movies speak in our heart, and we are looking very forward to meet you and see you March 15th at the Directors Guild of America. Mikhail, you are awesome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you very much.